drama than I thought it was going to be. Bikes were just framed the wheel, it would be piss easy. It's all the shit to make it look pretty. That's the pain in the ass. Get my chain out. Rear wheel. Oops, and rear brake. So that can go to one side. And now we can get a real good look at uh, what kind of work the frame needs. All round here, because the plums, all this gets wet, salt and shit off the roads, all the gunk off the chain, etc. And it all just gathers around here and wedges between the plastic and it just slowly corrodes away the frame. What a shitty mess. But we're going to sort all that out. So, uh, next, pop the swing arm. I'm going to leave the shock on for the time being just to hold the swing arm in place then we can pop the swing arm off and then uh, after that we've got the engine to take out and uh, nearly there so on the swing arm there's these plastic covers which I might get some new ones because these look up and sound a bit shitty and we've got to get our socket in there and uh, crack that. We've got another trailing link, have we? No, it's just the shock on this side. These become a right pain in the ass when you've got a mono shock set up like an R1 or something. But uh, this should be pretty much straightforward. So it's a 19 on both sides. them covers do work. So just get on the on side, pull the pin and we're free. Beautiful. it's the reverse. The head's on this side and the nut was on the back. Why this one's a captive nut on the other side. And that did it. Bit of gentle persuasion. Let's see the shock. Done for. Now, the rear shocks are going to be replaced because they're in fucking tremendous state. If I had a workshop, I was going to show you how to separate the shock, the uh, spring from the actual dampener, and we're going to treat the uh, Going to treat the shock. That's the swing arm. Again, you can see it's always it's on the inside where all the corrosion is and rubbish. 
so you can see the ass of an out. And what we've got is what's that pin? What we've got is rear stand and all the spring mechanism, your side stand and shit like that. Um, that's the bolt that holds on the exhaust that I didn't show you. We've got the uh, pivot assembly for the rear brake. We've got the rear pin, the rear lower transmission pin there that holds the um, bottom of the engine and the back of the engine to the frame. We've got a rectifier, there's a rubber stop there for your centre sand. And as you can see in here, it's just, look at that, it's just coming apart. It's just shit. So what I'd like to do next, and then with this where there's closing in and the sun's going down, um, what I'd like to do next is to get these crash bars off. They make it easier to get the engine. However, we've got the entire frame sat on these um, jack stands holding the bike up. So you can't see because of where <laughs> the bike is near the fence, etc. But on this side there and underneath, you can see these two bolts. And basically the way Kawasaki have designed this is you can take out this entire bottom section from here all the way back to where you uh, near where your foot peg is. So this section of the frame comes out, literally comes out, and then you can lift the engine out. So the plan of action is, is I'm going to undo the engine, keep it bolted together but only just, and then lift up the engine off the jack stands, and then, that's a fire extension bar, where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Um, then, I can... Uh, take that section out while it's on the jack and uh, hopefully I don't drop the engine. <laughs> the problem is, is the bike isn't that heavy anymore. It's not long and thin. That's not thin enough. Uh, okay. It's actually not stiff, I thought it was going to be stiff. But... There we go. What's that pin through? Alright then. So I've undone the two bolts on the other side of the cradle. On basically on that side that you can't see. I'm doing these two now. Right then, the moment of truth. Oh, there's no real danger if it falls. It's going to damage the engine more than anything. This thing could fall on me. It's not like it's going to kill me. So that's that raised. front screw. Sorry if I'm in the way. Now to the back. Do that one. So now this side of the engine should be free. Is that right? Ah uh, no it's not. Is holding. I should have set punches. <laughs> so that is the duplex side I was talking about. Oh, the 
Steered you welcome. Oh, I don't know about, I'm gonna dumb ass here. Yeah, my fault. So, the thermostat there on the top, when the engine drops down and wants to go that way, that'll end up clashing. I ain't got there yet. I need to take that off, so that's the next job. Alright, that's that out. Took a bit of prying. What it is, is it's the thermostat housing. And you've got these long rods with these now perished and fucked rubbers that basically just seal at the top of the head. Whew. Right, back to dropping the engine out of this bloody monster. Oh. <laughs> well, that did it. Oh, Jesus. Now, yes, somebody will be commenting straight away. Is it easy to do this with the wheels on? It is. But I'd already taken all that stuff off and I wasn't going to put it all back together. Not like that is. We won't be having this much fun. Sensor there. Oh! Sorry, I'm being a dickhead. So, what I forgot to take off was the gear change lever. Oh, I'll just trap my bloody hand. Oh, we're free. Ish. So, that's the engine out, frame's pretty much broken down, there's just the uh, head bearings yoke assembly and it is, does that say, that's 409, I had about a, I don't know, 20, 30 minute dinner, a couple of sandwiches and a bag and a coffee, so what's that, 20, 30 minutes, let's say 20 minutes, that's 10 to 4, 20 past 2, that's 40 minutes. Hour and 30 minutes. An hour and 30 minutes to do that. Uh, right, well, after this, I'm going to clean down a lot of things, take a bit of a closer look at the GP Z500 engine, which is what this was originally out of, and then Kawasaki repurposed it for the R500s. Um, I need to tidy a load of shit up and uh, the next you'll see is other bits and pieces of us cleaning this up and uh, spraying and wet blasting and fucking god knows what and, and part replacing and this that and the other so I uh, hope you've enjoyed it <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in a bit <laughs>